Paris Saint-Germain take two away goals back to the capital. Meanwhile, Liverpool must overturn a two-goal deficit against Juventus at Anfield. Ronaldo is one goal shy of Sebastian Allaire's 12-goal tally. The sun is setting on the romantic city of Paris. Can Paris Saint-Germain make it to the Champions League final in Saint-Denis in what will almost be a Champions League final on home turf? It's Ronaldo versus Messi, part two in the Champions League semi-final, part two. Neymar to Di Maria. He's picked up Messi. Messi with a dipping strike. That could have troubled De Gea if not for his composure. Pogba. Ilanga. Bruno Fernandes. And he is lucky with the ball to Sancho. It's Jaden Sancho. He smacks it against the post. An inadequate interception from Sergio Ramos leads to an opportunity for Jaden Sancho. But the anger gets the better of him. It's a furious strike against the post. Hakimi. Now Di Maria. Testing the waters against his former club. Rati spreads the play to Bernat. Neymar. Scored the goal in the first leg. He pulls it wide in the second. Fernandez. Ronaldo comes inside and has just warned Donald Roma. He's looking for goal number 12. It's Messi. Messi is still going. And Messi opts for the not so good right foot for some bizarre reason. Squares it to Fernandez. Look at the space that he's got. Oh, and it whirls over into the stands. Neymar. Bernard's back to Neymar. What a save from De Gea. Into the feet of Messi. He's back to Di Maria. Trying to cut inside, nearly wraps it around and Maguire almost concedes another own goal. He already did against Tottenham over the weekend. Danilo, Verratti, Messi, Di Maria back to his countryman, Messi. He hits the post well, Bernat is not going to miss on the follower. And Paris have taken the lead on aggregate. They've taken the lead this evening at the Parc des Princes. Messi still can't level with Ronaldo, but Juan Bernat has his back. The least likely of goal scorers in this star studded Parisian lineup. The whitewash is flaking off the goalpost. Well, Bernat has just brought Paris a little bit of breathing room just before half time. Paris Saint Germain won, Manchester United nil. Di Maria trying to find a way through, has to do a U turn. Neymar finds, Bernardi crumbles the frame of the goal, he's looking for a second. Here's Danilo, Danilo, it's another dipping strike, reminiscent of Messi's earlier in the game. Sancho, to the feet of Alanga, release ball falls to the feet of Sancho, anticipated by Donnarumma. Here is one Bissaka across the face of goal. is caught out by Ramos. And Bissaka didn't have much time to react. Lionel Messi over the free kick. Messi! Lionel Messi has finally got on the same score sheet as a club represented by his rival Ronaldo, who is nowhere to be seen in today's record books. Just as he did in 2019 semi-final at the new Camp against Liverpool, he's done it against United. On a swung in, it's gone in by Rashford. United are back in the game. We've got two minutes left to play. Marcus Rashford, somewhat of a hero for school children all across the country, may have been a hero for United all across that district. It's gone through the delicate hands of Donnarumma. In stoppage time, Pogba's chipped it through to Edison Cavani! No way! Edison Cavani has, of all the players, equalised against his former club. The city that put him on the map. Welcome back to Paris! And you better make yourself comfortable or we are not going anywhere! What a story! Just as it was against Atletico Madrid, United into extra time, one more time.
time. But this time, it's under their own agency. And that's Bruno Fernandes can deal another deafening blow from Cavani, who's cut out by Don Roma. Extra time, it shall be 30 more minutes of furious football from Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain. Here is Messi. Wijnaldum. Back to Messi. Cuts inside. Alex Telles. Messi fires it wide. Just into Mbappe. Neymar. Sends Pogba for an early shower. Neymar. Well watched by David De Gea. Mbappe lays it off to Wijnaldum. That's a stinging strike. Bernard with the cross. Not giving United any chance to recover. It's Neymar. Messi. Here is Messi. It's tipped away by De Gea. He lost his footing. And with all the abuse United endured in extra time. The lottery of the penalty shootout. To settle a Champions League final spot. Will Paris play at home against Liverpool or Juventus? Neymar to have the first roll of the dice. He scores. Of course. One of many living legends perched on that halfway line. He scores tonight. Rashford is half the reason we're here tonight. And he might be half the reason United go home tonight. Kylian Mbappe. Terrible penalty. Jadon Sancho to get United back into the game. He does. What a burial. Bottom left corner. Malmo Icardi can put Paris... Two goals up, and what was he thinking? Straight at the Spaniard. Edison Cavani, the man who forced extra time. Cavani has belted it past his former club again. Now this should be interesting, Lionel Messi. All the eyes in the world on him. Messi runs up, it's straight at the hair. It was thwarted, and as he walks off in sorrow, look who walks past it. Cristiano Ronaldo loads a bullet into the chamber if he shoots Paris die they go out yes Manchester United have turned around the miserable fortunes and woes of the club they are in the Champions League final for the first time in over 10 years with the Red Devils in the final who will emerge from the Red Cauldron as their opponents, Liverpool, have two goals to overturn against the old lady Juventus. A stunning performance from the Stripes in Tremaine. But they have entered a different realm at Anfield on a European night of football. Can they survive? Rabiot. Dybala brings it under control, it basically thrusts up into the atmosphere. Here's Vlahovic, off the post and Trent Alexander-Arnold will take no chances. Hopped over by Mane, lays it back to Thiago. Thiago, it goes wide, it's wayward from this Spaniard Thiago Alcantara. 20 minutes gone here, Liverpool yet to find a head start. Here's Vlahovic. Vlahovic is clapped at the sky by Alisson. Juventus just as sprightly as they were in Italy. And Vlahovic has stayed down. Here's Schotter. Salah. Mane keeps on going. And Salah finally finds a way to the Senegalese. Hit man. And Mane drags it wide. Here's Chiesa. It's two on two. Between Juventus and Liverpool. Dybala back to Chiesa. He tries to wrap it around. Allison at the far post, outsmarted by the Brazilian. And Liverpool can come forward. One minute of added time looms over here at Anfield, and Salah is one on one with Chesney in front of the corp. Mo Salah. And the game is declared on at Anfield. Three goal to two now. It's Mo Salah who gains an 11th goal in the competition, tying himself with Cristiano Ronaldo. But that's neither here nor there. Liverpool have a job on their hands in the second half. Half-time as the sun sets on Merseyside. 
It's Liverpool 1, Juventus 0. Cross floated in, nodded away by Matic. Arthur! Arthur sends Alisson with a panicking thrust through the sky. If that's on target, Liverpool are doomed. Long ball picking up Morata. Survives against Van Dijk. Squeezes off the pass to Dybala. As Morata goes down, Dybala lays it off to Rabiot. It's a goal at Anfield for Juventus. Juve equalise on the night. And Liverpool, 10 minutes into the second half, are back to a two goal deficit. And the footwork of Dybala can be faint here. Rabio turning into a prolific goal scorer in its competition. Shot on with a free pass to Salah. He pokes it with the outside of the boot and can't beat Chesney. Robertson with a cross back in. It's rounded away. Salah knocks it down to Thiago, hits it on the volley. Hurting the skull of Locatelli. But what a save from the pole. Shotter helps it on to Salah first time. Shotter gets the return. And he can't beat Chesney. What a move from Liverpool. Returns for his selflessness. Rewarded with the stubbornness of Chesney. Fabinho is on to the crossbar. It was held on there by Chesney. He's actually going over and Chesney almost inadvertently brings it down into his own net. One hour played at Anfield. Morata into Chiesa. It's swatted aside by Alisson. Desperate save from the Brazilian. Into the captain Jordan Henderson. Alexander Arnold. Mane. Back to Thiago. Play goes on. Henderson. Salah finds an opening. He's rolled it through. It's squeezed in. And Mo Salah has scored his second against Juventus. 12 goals in the competition for him. Two goals on the night for Liverpool. One more to equalise. The Reds are rock solid and refusing to roll over for Juventus. They're not going to back down. Pez fans, we are witnessing a fight tonight. Here is TAA into the box for Mane. Oh my God. You always suspect Liverpool will find a way, but you never think it can keep happening. Well, it does. Liverpool have levelled with Juventus. There's 15 more minutes to go, but what a goal for Mane. It's just barely clipped in. He's running out of room in the sky, and he's fortunate that the post was on his side tonight. Mane nearly follows up and is blocked by Chesney. Maybe Shorter should have taken matters into his own hands. Diaz. Mane. Gomez catches up. He gets assistance from Henderson. Into the middle to Keita. It's over! Keita! Super duper sub! See you later! Your vendors are gone, surely! It's been pinged in from Nami Keita. Never bite off the colour red. That's what we've learned tonight in this episode. That's what colour Paris will be painted in the final. Manchester United will take on Liverpool for the first time ever in a Champions League final. Well, if you came here for action, you wasn't disappointed. One more penalty shootout, one more comeback and one more record broken as Mohamed Saleh matches Sebastian Ale and the Golden Boots shall be fought over at the Stade de France in Saint-Denis, Paris. It is Manchester United versus Liverpool. The Intercity Derby of North West England will be contested overseas one more time on the grandest stage of them all, the Champions League final. So Pez fans, is it red or is it red and black? Don't forget to tune in on Saturday for your Champions League final. Leave your predictions below.